these are some of my favorite stories, but I only tell one. So birth of a shoe company, Kenneth Cole, the, the person's shoes and purses, Kenneth Cole. So you can go on the website, take a look. It was 82, 84, something like that. Kenneth Cole was an American shoe designer trained in Italy, and he was coming up with new designs. And if you recall, um, our shoe industry had been basically outsourced, right? So he wanted to build European high quality shoes, but in order to market to Macy's and Neiman Marcus and um, um, all the other uh, department stores, there is a huge shoe uh, association meeting on Times Square once a year at the Marriott, if anybody's been to that Marriott convention. <clears throat> but it was a bunch of money then. I think it was like $100,000 to get in when $100,000 was actually real money. So he didn't have the money to get into it. So his team brainstormed and said, all right, how are we going to get the buyers from those big stores to see our shoes if we can't get into the show? So his team suggested that they get a truck, a trailer truck, park it on Times Square and put their shoes and then when the buyers come out, hawk them in. So they called City Hall in New York and City Hall said, there is no way you can park a truck in Times Square, not gonna happen. So Kenneth Cole came back, it's a great idea, <clears throat> but we're, we can't do that. His administrative aide goes in and makes a call to City Hall and says, under what condition can we park a truck? in Times Square. Can we park a truck? No. Under what condition can we park a truck? And there was one, if you're filming a movie, because New York was trying to enhance filming a movie. Kenneth Cole then applied, and if you go look at Kenneth Cole stores, it's KCP, Kenneth Cole Productions. So they changed the name to Kenneth Cole Productions. They had the old handheld VCRs and they filmed the birth of a shoe company. Now they got police protection too, by the way, because that's what New York did. They provided police protection for that. And I can't remember how many orders they got. It was something like 40,000 shoes that got contracted um, for Nordstrom's and others. It's a huge story. So here's the case where entrepreneur genius, Kenneth Cole, ends up having a team, in this case his administrative assistant, they actually had the capabilities. They got the money and they're off to success. If you go down to Grand Central Station, there's a Hyatt there that Trump redid. Uh, and you'll see Kenneth Cole, corporate headquarters. You can walk in and they'll run a, a loop tape of exactly what I described to you. So there are some marvelous stories where entrepreneurs have all the ingredients. They can't do it themselves. And you know they're pursuing different ways of making things happen. <clears throat> 